everyone and welcome to a smash look at Warsaw. Franz here as always and it's developed by Pixelated Milk and published by Gaming Company. Warsaw is a challenging World War II turn-based tactical RPG that takes place in a Poland war torn city. Now I do have a game going on but we're going to go into a brand new game so you guys can see just what it's like from the get-go. It's very heavily story focused so please keep that in mind and I'll leave all the relevant links down below for you. The year is 1944. Battered by opposing forces on two fronts, the Third Reich begins to crumble. In Central Europe, Poland lies at the heart of the storm caught between the waning Nazi opp oppression and the rising Soviet threat. There is little hope for release. Poor Poland. Never gets the rest. But yeah, the one thing you're probably going to notice about this, even from the get-go from the menu, is the actual beautifully hand-painted graphics, which are pretty damn stunning, and you'll soon see that very soon. As the final part of the country-wide Operation Tempest here, we will launch one final act at the find called The Uprising of Warsaw, August 1st, 1944. Let's see how this goes. The W hour. Forward hour? Sorry, I don't know if that's a play in that or not. I don't know army type things. The first skirmishes begin. Now, you're probably going to notice a little bit of some things from sort of XCOM, little things from uh, some people are comparing it to what has been marketed as sort of as like a modern, well, maybe not a war torn sort of World War Darkest Dungeons type game going on. Probably noticing everything here. So, as I'm rising in, but before we throw you in the deep end, you play through a short tutorial. Now, for the sake of the video for you guys, I'm going to play through the tutorial. So, exploration right now, you can explore fragments of the city. You do have up here is your your actual overall objectives. So you can see your current team, inventory, and available action points. So you get action points here. Task is to complete the mission by filling all the objectives up here. Movement on the map depletes your action points should you run out. So if this runs out before you actually complete this, the mission is a fail. So you have to watch where you're going. Now this is going to become very much more apparent. Do you see here we've got this lovely map here. And basically, if I move, you see your AP goes down. So you have this overarching type of overworld going on as well which is pretty cool let's go here and obtaining ammunition right proceed now you'll have these little event pop-ups every now and again as well so we want to move out we're going to loot all that just now looting you'll get supply drops resource caches discarded weaponry so on and so forth everything is very sort of limited you're not going to have a finite amount of things which is a nice sort of mechanic placed on top of the player Right, let's carry on. We're going to go down here. You can see there's a barricade, so you don't want to go down there. Now, we're going to enter a battle. Nazi patrol needs to be eliminated if you're to reach the rally point. Now, we're going to get some battles for you. Now, the way the battles works is quite intuitive, actually. quite like it. So, the tutorial will explain the mechanics of the combat. So, in Warsaw, you begin with a number of activations equal to the number of combatants. So, we have three, three, action, uh, three activations. They have two, two activations. So on and so forth. Activations are required to perform skills. Both sides are alternate by using their activations. You can actually choose which character also uses the activation you have. So if you have three characters, three activations, but you could say have the same character perform all three activations. Now there is a little bit that allows you to not do that. So we highlight you and highlight the skill using the mouse over so we can start that so we're going to do target acquired and we're going to pop you you can see here you've got blocks up here because they're basically each move shows you different things you can see here the blue and the red is where that it will affect or where you can reach so we can reach all this so there we go and visually it's pretty stunning it is pretty stunning now this is the part i meant that you couldn't use them all three at the same time because they each have a stamina bar so free stamina no penalties. Two stamina, accuracy will be reduced by 10%. Now, you've got a lot of detail down here about each attack that you're about to perform, and it'll tell you, you know, resilience, accuracy, dodge, so on and so forth. And one stamina, all damage is reduced by 20%. No stamina, combatant cannot be used basically that turn. Now, you can tell them to wait, wherever, and. It, ah, ow, 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 don't throw a grenade. That's not nice. So some skills are able to affect more than a single target. If so, it will be indicated in the tooltip as area. In the addition, the skill will highlight multiple targets during the targeted animation steps. Now it's time for your second activation. So we're going to do you, we're going to do that, and then we're going to get you healed up. There we go. So 
Stop shooting me. All right, so notice that your uh, character took reduced damage. Standing right behind the obstacles grants combatants additional armor. So you can see here we've got a battle because it also appears in this, like they have this in front of them as well. So we're going to select you, and we're going to go the move, and we're going to move you back here. There we go. Now it's going to be our round two. Select you. And target acquired and right so commands on both sides occupy tiles on one of two horizontal lines so you get that one and that one basically all targets attacked with the other lane consider flank and receive a 50 percent 15 percent but 50 percent is a bit much there we go and now your turn no oh now they actually draw out basically takes them away from being in there so contraband and do that here have some extra bullets and you could actually see here you'll be able to see that basically if they get ones as well you can highlight over it or just hover over it and it'll tell you what it's given so that increases the chance to apply burn by 80 percent which is a pretty damn good one he's about to get shot ow what did he get Cannot act. So burn and bleed inflict damage over time. Blind decreases target action and depression, suppression prevents the target from performing skills altogether. So he's suppressed right now. So what we can do though is we can do a single shot. And single shot does have a different area, but we can shoot you. Bye bye. Or well, we shot you anyway. And we set him on fire. Not sure how that works, but I'm okay with it. This concludes the guided mechanics. Right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna move you. Nope, move you here. So you're behind that. Ow. And then we're going to do full auto or sing full auto. Get rid of you. Or rid of part of you, anyway. She's got 11 left. Now she does have a gun. Oh, good, you're burning. You do have a gun. 11. Ooh. Oh, wait, I can only... Hmm. Maybe just apply some first aid to you then. The first aid being a skill is one thing, but you actually do get items that you can use on the sort of overworld type view, where you get first aid and ammunition, so on and so forth. Um, let's see. I'm gonna go with you. No, actually. I'm gonna go with you. There we go. That's you down. Now he should burn. You can see here they lose one of their activations because they've lost one of the characters. Which is not always ideal. Uh, oh, you've lost burn. Never mind. Fine. Bye. What? No! 90% accuracy. Right, now I'm going to see if I can actually hit him. I know this. There we go. I don't reduce the attack and everything, but it was worth it. Now we're going to head on. So death and survival. Remember, death is permanent. So if one of these guys dies, that's it. They're out. They're gone. Well, certain rewards may appear promising. Sometimes it's better to limit your risks and avoid combat altogether. So let's go. There we go. We have now arrived at home. Having emerged victorious from our first real engagement, your team descends into the city sewers network to reach the rally point. There's no, there's little time to celebrate. However, for the hard part comes next. The uprising is now in full swing turn to the hideout so you can click complete the mission you see all the goodies you got and that's there so injuries you do get injuries if they lose a significant amount of health during a battle and suffer above a certain threshold suffer injury injuries will just character's health when they return to the hideout and will have to be treated in the hospital if you have a hospital that is so you usually get a little overarching sort of thing because you're going to have different sectors going on now this is where the things are going to come into where you'll see a lot of XCOM like influence but for now we're just going to carry on so you guys can see so we're going to proceed so we head into the event one of the clear 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 gaming within the uprising arrives at your doorstep claiming to have received a vision from the virgin mary herself he says she revealed to him that the hour of victory draws near and that it would begin with the uprising mountain and offensive of one of the prominent nazi outposts in the wola district in any event his enthusiastic sentiment seems to be gaining traction among some of the resistance fighters um with it just literally starting i don't see that being now this is completely different from what i've had previously 
So I'm assuming this is almost procedural itself as well. I'm going to dismiss it. It would be pointless to waste lives over revelations like this. You choose to dismiss the clergyman and return to less prophetic military operations. All right, let's go. Day two. What happens now? I'm guessing that... Is that the, like, population count? Because that, again, as well didn't appear. So, hide it tutorial. So you've reached the resistance hideout, your base operations between the assignments. You can either view the tutorial, explain the hideout, which we wish to do so you guys can see. Now I can click these, and you can see you've got a summary, you've got your skills, you've got your weapons that you can change out if you have some, and experience. Now some of them do already have different ones. So I could do this, and you just swap it out. He also has one which is target acquired. Uh, you know what? I'm just going to go with that. Nobody has experience yet right now, but you can see here plan a mission. You've got the hospital. You've got the arsenal. You've got the ar uh, archivist. The archivist, who is actually... Gives you access to the codex, which allows you to learn detailed backstories of your insurgents. Which is quite cool. Which is actually pretty cool. You also have a priest, who is there for if people die. So, there is that too. Now, what we want to do is I believe do we need anything consumable supplies uh repair weapons barter repair we want to get some of these so buy buying and buying and buy that again so then we have that there now we're going to go up to missions you can see here you've got excursions and you've got missions excursions as like there's no currently available excursions allow you to aid your districts by sending supplies to replenish a portion of the morale because it like, you've got all this, and it's essentially very similar to the world map on XCOM. That, I know I'm comparing it a bit to XCOM, but this part, it really does feel like XCOM. Where you have to have your supply up by, you know, securing and holding on to districts or, like, areas. That allows you to then fuel the momentum, fuel with supplies, so on and so forth. So every time you set out in your form, mark your map with available missions. Now, this is also a similar thing, where you only have... You can pick one mission and then the other one sort of auto fails. So you can see here, we've got a range of them. We are going to go for this one. District submission. Review mission details allows you to check its duration. As you can see here. <coughs> Excuse me. When a mission fails, the district gains a point of attrition. District details show its current morale and accumulated attrition. With each passing day, all district morale will drop with a decrease equal to their attrition value. Keep in mind that a district's income will be affected by low morale. If a district's morale drops to zero, it will surrender. So failure penalty. So failure in this mission will involve you get an attrition point reward. So you get a currency for up ranking up characters, uh, which is lovely, and a damaged MG, which you will be able to repair. So income, they give us 12 supplies per day. So collect useful salvage and mission duration is three days. Let's deploy. Now, in this point, you will get to choose all your goodies you bring with you. Now, I'm just going to... Actually, we're going to switch you there. Oh, put you there. You there. And you there. I'm not entirely 100% sure if this works out for the line, basically. We also want to make sure we're taking a bunch of med kits just in case. Compass is efficiency, increased movement. We're going to take... Can I not take one of them? Nope, we're just going to take it all, apparently. Uh, we don't need all of that, though, so we're going to put some of that back. And you know what? I'll put some of that back just in case we pick up some stuff. And we'll take, you know, just some of that on top of that as well. All right, let's commence our mission. So this is what you're going to get landed with, and then you get the, the sort of overworld map here. And this is a very intriguing thing here. So what are we going to do? Collect useful salvage. Now, you always get a point of where you need to go, and it's ideal that you go for it. Because you only have 100 AP, and that's what you got. So you've got available encounters, you've got two loot, five events, nine battles. Let's go. I'm wondering if we should actually just... No, we're going to head up this way. Oh, hello. Collect useful salvage. Okay, let's see what we got here. You reach the area and immediately get to work. After you successfully reclaim what you realistic can, you give the order to head back to the next spot. Alright. Look at this. Oh. Hi. They knew. Basically, they have an area of it where, oh, this is a lot of people. Yeesh. Um, I suppose a projectile, right? Let's see. What can we do here? Uh, 
Let's try and do damage. It's going to be 4v4. This is going to be a very difficult match. You've moved, so you've moved there. Actually, no. Let's uh, What have you got? Clear out. I'm going to give that to you. Ow. Right, you move to behind that. There we go. Taking much less damage now, which is excellent. I'm going to have you move to here. Let's defend us up a little bit. Alright, so you are shield breaker. You do that. There we go. Nice. Resist. Oh no, they resist. Ow. Right, so they are slightly down just now. So what we actually do want to do is we want to make sure that you get a med kit. Keep your health up. Miss seven. I th yeah, you hit you. Hmm. No. You've got two. There we go. Right, so we nearly get one of them down. Which is ideal, because then it's going to reduce the amount of activations they actually use. Uh, but these two are so... Oh, do you have a clear shot on any of them? You and him, but accuracy of 74. Probably better just to heal right now. Right, okie dokie. Next level. Okay, so now they've recovered some of that. Full auto, do it. Oh, you missed? Really? Eesh. That's not too great. I want to try it one more time. I know the accuracy is going to be way down, but if we could get this, it's going to cause a... Okay, so one down. That's good. That's good. And it removed an activation point. Ow. That hurt a lot. Right, so he can't obviously do anything anymore. You could use that on them. Oh, oh wow. Okay, yeah, certainly good choice actually. That removed an activation from them as well. You ploy, so one point of stamina. Let's give you. <laughs> like, here you go. Uh, remove, an acti uh, remove an activation from the enemy's side. Ooh. How does this one do that? So one point, remove that. Spend two stamina. Huh, that's actually quite handy. Okay, because she didn't actually have that ability when I originally played it as well. Let's see what we can do here. So you've got shield breaker that you could do. Okay, let's see how we're we going to take these guys down. Now you do have a sizable amount of that. That's that. If we got that, that would be flanking. Actually, let's do that. Oh, okay. I'm very glad I done that. Holy crap! Now you can't actually shoot him because you don't have the shot. Because you need to be... In order for that to work, you would have to go back to here, wouldn't you? Okay, let's see. You are going to end activation. He should be... No, he's not able to, actually. Never mind, that's not how it's going to work. <laughs> let's see what we can do here. We do... We could do full auto. He's nearly down. Ow. Do you mind? No, we could do full auto again. That, that if it hits, would work very nicely. But what I think was better to do right now is maybe move him here. And then... If I do two end activations, does that give him two points back? No, it does not. All right, now he's gonna be flanked. Excellent. So it's all about using the sort of defensive structures to your advantage. Uh, can I go over here now? Oh, look at that, excellent. And using, I... uh, god dang it. Oh, hi, who are you? New codex entries unlocked, huh, okay. Right, 
you want to get behind us? Ow. Sure. I'm gonna move you up to here. Because he seems to be all down there, so he's gonna end up getting basically the the shots of them. You could use shield breaker. Nice good hit there. You know, visually and the SFX, the ambience and everything in this game is absolutely incredible. It really, really is. I'm gonna give you actually give yourself Give yourself it, damn it. You're still bleeding now. Yeah, yeah. What what do you draw out my Well, that happened. Uh, move you to there. Stop it! Oh dear. Right, gotta use first aid on you. Because you are quite badly hurt. Ouch. Okay, let's see. Uh, full auto. Do it now! Well, didn't quite kill him. But, ow. She's out in the open and what's that? Cannot act. Ah, uh, okay. Use first aid. So we actually get four, so they're free, but this guy's at 90 points. Uh, you only have one left just now. Shield breaker. Ah, use that. Pound it. The cat. Wait, how do you have four? You only meant to, unless you count for two, which is cheating. Let's get rid of you somehow. I still missed? Oh, I suppose it was only 58%. Aha! You missed. Uh, it's supposed to projectile. Yeah, I think we need to get rid of you. But rid of you, because he's only got 11. He's got one hit in him. He has definitely got one hit in him. And... You could have you just do it. Or you could miss with a grenade launcher. I mean, that seems logical. Hey, stop shooting me. Right, let's see. I could just ploy in you. Because then that's going to give you an extra activation. So you're not going to have any... Yeesh. Full auto. There we go. Alright, so that's one down that we have, one less that we have to deal with. As I get shot in the chest. You need to heal him. Quite badly hurt everywhere. And again. Okay, round two, or five, should I say. Right, so you only have three, so he must be worth two. Yeah, activation's two, you can actually see that there. Hmm. Single shot would do more damage, uh, but I can't reach him. This can reach him. So you get rid of you, because you can have two activations, which I'm totally not okay with. Ah, oh, you applied bleed again. Ah. Okay then, that was unexpected. Get out of here. Okay, we just lost our medic of all things. Yeesh. Can't believe we lost our medic. That's not too great. That is not too great at all. Uh, you... Uh, you were supposed to project out. And then you do a single shot. Not much health left on you, thankfully. My turn first. Do it! 
believe you lost the medic. I know we do, because basically the medic allows you to use your skills rather than having to use your med kits. So some people might prefer taking med kits to have a more powerful unit. But we've actually just lost our med kit, our med. So that in itself is not great. Um, okay, well, we heal them all. And then we carry on. We can get our supplies from here. Do that. Get 64 AP. And we've only collected... Ah, well. But this is how you pretty much do the, the overarching missions. You have your action points. You're going around. Then you have your turn-based battles and everything going on. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Because I really love what's going on here. The graphics are beautiful. The sound work is amazing and astonishing. I've been Fraz, guys. Thank you very much for checking out this smash. Look, this lovely first impressions of Warsaw. And I hopefully you've enjoyed it enough to stick around. Uh, hit that subscribe button. Come back for more. Bye-bye.